Oh boy, here we are again. Two Oracle of Ages this time. That is a little bit blurry, I'm gonna wipe off the camera. Whoop. Ah, that's a little bit better. Okay, so, without further ado, not much of an intro, but uh, I'm back for a little while. Let's just get started. Onyx, General of Darkness, Twin Rover will not let your death go to waste. Behold, Onyx, the troubles that caused now burn in the flame of destruction. When the flames of sorrow and despair burst into flame, we will offer up the sacrifice, and the dark rites of the Gerudo will be complete. Then the evil king shall return. Well, something's going on. But hey, we're falling from the sky once again, huh? And once again, we will accept the quest, because we are a hero. A little bit off-center. There we go. So, we're here in this forest, and there's some scary-looking trees over there. And somebody clearly needs some help. Well, we don't have a weapon, but, you know, we can do that. That was frightening. I was suddenly attacked. Thank you, Traveler. What is your name? Renea, is it? I see a triangle on the back of your left hand. That is the sign of a Hyrulean hero. That must be why the beasts fled. I am Impa, nurse to Hyrule's princess Zelda. Zelda asked me to find a singer named Meru. Will you help me look? I'd feel safer with you nearby. Alright. There's some monkeys. Oh, that's it! This rock with the triangle is a sign. Could you move this rock for me? Sure. I'll, I'll just... I can't do it. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. Now let's go. Oh my. Sorry. <laughs> Let's just go. Oh. Well, that must be her. No! I have to hear Nehru's song! Jeez. Sorry. <sighs> How charming. Yes, it is. Shh! I can't hear Nehru sing! I didn't say anything, dude. Okay. Huh? Nehru's the best singer in Laburna! Laburna, huh? Okay. Excuse me, bear. Sit here and listen. How charming. Isn't it enchanting? Well, I'd say so. You're Hyrule's messengers, aren't you? Impa and Runea, right? A bird brought message of your arrival. My name's Ralph. I'm an old friend of Nehru's. We're counting on you. Thank you. You've come all the way from Hyrule, correct? Pleased to meet you. I am Nehru. I've been very worried after hearing that Laburna would face many evil troubles. Don't worry, Nehru. I'm here. I'll chase away any beast that comes near you. Sorry, Runea, but I doubt we'll need you. Uh, I'm sorry. Ralph is always like this when it comes to me, but I feel that something is e something evil is approaching, just as Ralph claims. <laughs> you are correct. Not bad for a diva. Not bad for ah. My words. Ignore that. Something terrible will happen right now before your very eyes. Indeed. I always love that. It's a little bit loud, maybe. Should have tested. Oh well. Thank you, Runea. You allowed me to pass through the sacred barrier 
real quick, I just want to point out, as a kid, I always thought she kind of, like, smushed into herself. I didn't realize that that was the back of her head. But, you know. I've been waiting for this moment. I am Varan, Sorceress of Shadows. I think because her hair looks a little bit weird. <clears throat> Nehru, Oracle of Ages, I shall make your body my own. Ah, 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 ah. moving this around, I'm sorry. My hands are a little bit shaky. What are you doing to Nehru? I'll cut you in two if you don't let her go. Ha! Aren't you brave? Turning a sword at me? If you cut me, it's Nehru who dies. Oh, well. My bad. Nehru is no mere diva, she is the Oracle of Ages who controls time. Now the Oracle's powers are mine, I can travel through time as I choose. Jumping powers. Now a new age shall begin, the Age of Darkness. Ha ha ha. I shall go to the past and do as I please. Alright, time for a drink. <clears throat> uh, excuse me. <coughs> and while this cutscene is going... No more interruptions, please. Okay. Time to sit back how I was. Ugh. Alright, oh, bad stuff is happening. That Varan. She couldn't touch the stone, so she used you to get in here. I've known Nehru was the Oracle of Ages since she was a child. I've always been beside her, and protecting her. Now this! Nehru, wait! I'll save you! Nehru! Alright, Ralph. It'll be alright. Everything will work out. Oh! Runea, you saved me. I think I was possessed. I failed Zelda. Zelda. She sensed an evil shadow drawing near Nehru and asked me to bring her to Hyrule. We should not have forgotten you, the hero of Holderum. Look, look what has happened now. That Varan lady is frightening. I was forced to do her will in spite of myself. Varan said she'd go back in time. She must hope to use Nehru's powers to launch some plan in the past. Liburna already feels the effects. Renea, first Holy Drum, now Liburna faces its doom. I'm sorry to ask so much, but we can rely on no other. Please, save Nehru. Ah, yes, Zelda entrusted this shield to me. Please use it. Alright, we got ourselves a shield. Renea, can you go meet the Maku Tree in Lina Village? The Maku Tree is the guardian of Liburna. Surely she can help. Nehru's house in the woods, east of here. I'll be there. I think my words got a little bit mixed up there. But, uh, I, I kind of need something to attack. Oh, right. I brought it with me. Haha. <laughs> right. So yeah, we weren't able to actually open up the pause menu until that moment right there, so... You know. What's in the shop? Right, Geisha Seed. That's fine. Uh, I always like to come down here. Ember seeds? You can't carry them like that! Indeed. So, first things first, um, what are the differences in a linked game, which is what we are doing right now? Well, we will get certain passwords to be able to transfer over certain data. And, um, that cave, right here. This is the hero's cave. We'll be stopping in here every now and then. 
you can't actually complete that dungeon unless you have every other item, but I just like to do some of it here and there. I'm Blossom. This is my first child. A healthy baby boy. But I'm having trouble choosing a name. Can you help me think of one? What would you call him? Hmm. What would I call him? Kana. Yeah, that'll work. You'd name him Kana? Sure. It's a fine name. I shall call him so. He seems happy to have it. Come visit us anytime. So, I actually forgot to do this uh, from the last series, and I apologize, but, um, yeah, it's not a big deal. Good to see you. Welcome to Vazu Jewelers. Oh, you don't have a ring box. I like you, so here, take this ring box. You got a ring box. So, this snake over here... I am Red Snake. I am Keeper of Ring Secrets. Make a choice. We'll be saying a secret, but I actually need to go get that. So, I will be right back, guys. Ah, uh, here we are again. I'm Red Snake. I would like to ask a secret. Listen well. So this code right here is what we need, so I'm gonna write this down. Oh god, I'm sorry. I'm gonna write this code down and head back to Oracle of Ages. So I just wanted to show you. Alright, so this should be the password. Hmm. Okay, I have brought your rings from Holodrum. So see Vazu to check your list. So yes, let us check our list. And as you can see, we have all of our rings. But the one in particular that I want is the power ring. Alrighty. Now, off we go to what we're actually supposed to do. Danger! Huh? Not really, you've blocked it off. Hmm. Danger! Danger! Will Robinson? Pleased to meet you, young hero. I am the Maku Tree, guardian of Liberna. Varan, sorceress of shadows, has taken Nehru, the Oracle of Ages. She's disrupting the flow of time from the past. She's trying to flood this world with the power of sorrow. We cannot give in to one of impure heart. You must stop Varan, and soon. But to stop her, you'll need... something. Um... The power of rainbow? Uh... I feel so weird. I'm vanishing. Something must be happening to me in the past. Help! No problem. Oh. Well, that's no joke. Dang. Alright. Yo! The Maku Tree? This is more of Varan's work. Renea, you made it! Varan just leapt through this time portal. If we go back in time, we should be able to save Nehru and the Maku Tree. I'm coming, Nehru! Well, alrighty. Away we go. Uh, another one? First that guy with the weird hat appears, and then you! Uh, ever since that girl Nehru came, there's been all sorts of weird goings on. <laughs> well, hopefully we won't have to see that guy again. He's quite strange. So here we are in the past. Hello, sir. The village has been full of rubble ever since work started on that tower. Can't get anywhere without a shovel to clear a path. Sounds like we need a shovel. And once again, we won't need this right now, but I like to have it on the map. Because as you all should know from Oracle of Seasons, Gale Seeds are a thing, so... Yeah. Wait a minute. Is it you? No, not you. I'm getting all my locations mixed up in my mind. This guy... No, 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 no. Duh. Doi. I'm sorry, I'm... Duh. I'm all mixed up right now. But, uh... 
this guy. Paper. Do you have any paper? Can't say I do. Darn gash seeds sprouting, growing, making nuts. And all those new nuts got different stuff inside. Ha! Get rid of it for me. Oh, well, thank you. I know there's soil right by my house, but don't go planting seeds there. I assume you mean down here, sir? Alright. No. Why build such a huge thing? Just work, work, work. Well. Oh. I want that. Gimme! Anyway. This is the entry to the tower being built to the heavens by the order of Queen Ambi. At first, this tower was being built to guide Queen Ambi's love safely back from the sea, but ever since Nehru came, the sun sits high in the sky, as if time itself has stopped. It's not like Queen Ambi to push us so hard. In the village, they've started calling it the Black Tower. That's, that's probably racist, let's be honest. You can look around, but the construction has some areas closed. If you hang around too much, though, you might get yelled at. Well, alrighty. So, I suppose we should head into this tower then, huh? But, this is a pretty good place to stop the first episode. I don't like to make them too terribly long, but that's mainly because my computer can't necessarily handle it. So... Join me next time when we will enter the Black Tower. See you guys later.